Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to today's Pick a Card reading and it is Spirit Guide Messages. So this is a general reading from Spirit Guides, your Spirit Guides, to you for this week to give you clarity, understanding and advice in terms of moving towards your current goals and anything that you're having issues with this week. This is advice on how to improve the situation. So my name's Kat. Welcome to anyone new. Welcome back to anyone returning. I hope you enjoyed today's reading. If you do, please like it and subscribe if you want to share it. That would be awesome. Um, if you'd like a private reading with me, you can check the description box below. And that's about it really. Let's get on with today's reading. Whoops. And it is Spirit Guide Messages. Hi, Group 1. Okay, so Spirit Guide Messages. Ten of Cups, Page of Swords, Five of Swords, Seven of Wands, Share the Love and Sacral Chakra. Okay. So the Spirit Guide Messages for you are that if you... Whatever it is you're wanting, whatever it is you're wanting to do, achieve. So for some of you, it's a relationship. For some of you, it's a new job. For some of you, it's a better situation in your home life or whatever. Whatever it is you're trying to reach, this is the Ten of Cups. This is ultimate happiness, fulfillment, getting what you want. It's possible for you because I see you here celebrating. So it is possible for you. But you've got to do things a little bit differently. The five of swords in the middle here is saying, they're saying to you that you're tr you're trying to achieve something by keep doing the same thing. There's something that you're doing in your life that's not working. You know it's not working, but you keep doing it. You keep trying, you keep trying, you keep trying, um, hoping that it will change something and it doesn't change. <laughs> so what they're saying is it's like time to stop banging your head against the proverbial brick wall. It's time to stop trying to force something or, you know, you could be in a, a in a stalemate situation with a friend, a work colleague, a partner. It's time to admit defeat. It's time to let something go and leave something behind. This can be an old mind state. This can be a bitterness or an anger about something from the past. You've already been given a good idea. The page of swords here for me is a good idea. You've already been given a flash of inspiration as to how to achieve full happiness, but you kind of don't feel able to do it because you're in some sort of confrontation or some sort of difficult situation with other people. You've got to remove yourself from it. It's almost like just let it go now already. It's done. It's finished with. Or if it isn't, if it's a family situation or something, you just have to learn to kind of put it to one side and go about your life in the times when you can. Or as best as you can. The seven of one says you've got to really stick with what's in your heart. The sacral chakra as well here. There's some blocks around this, which is forward motion in life. Creation, desire. It's about getting what you want. It's about moving forwards in your life. It's about seeing that for forwards movement. If you want to move forward, you've got to stop listening to what everybody else says. You've got to stop worrying about what everybody else thinks. You've got to focus on what's in your heart, even if other people don't agree. You will celebrate eventually. You will um, be able to be victorious eventually. And also, I think some of the naysayers or some of the people who weren't so keen on you making those choices will change their mind because they'll see that you have actually succeeded. And if nothing else, you're doing what is true to you for you and what is true to your inner North Star and your inner calling. And so... Because you're doing what's right for you and you're sticking to it, they will respect that ultimately. And, and those who don't, never mind. I still see you succeeding. I still see you being happy and fulfilled at the end of it all. So that's the key. Do something different. Focus on what's in your heart. Don't listen to other people. Do what you know is right for you. Hope this makes sense. Loads of love. See you on the next reading or on a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon, guys. Hi, group two. Okay, so your spirit guide messages for this week are seven of swords, four of coins, nine of coins, eight of wands, four of swords, and um, three of wands. Amazing. Okay, so what are they saying for you this week? There's fear, there's anxiety, and that you're stuck in a rut. You're still... 
feeling the effects of some old problem. You're still feeling the effects of some old fear. The Seven of Swords says you're trying, you're feeling like you're being deceived or someone's against you or you've got your defenses up. You're kind of on edge. You are being defensive. You've maybe been difficult with people. You feel worried other people are being difficult with you. There's a kind of general suspicious, fearful energy. You're clinging on to what you have. You're afraid that someone's going to take it away from you. You're afraid that you're going to lose. There's a lack mentality here with the four of coins and the seven of swords. There's a feeling that you're not going to, you can't trust people or you can't trust someone in particular. The nine of coins, this is an old habit. You're clinging on to an old habit. The nine of coins is not a bad card, but intuitively for me in this situation, what it feels to me is like you've kind of, furrowed plowed a groove of what you're used to you're kind of in this fearful modality now where you're thinking that you know you, you've got to have your heckles up you've got to be defensive you've got to be like on edge and ready and um this is a on like in protection mode but what they're saying is is that you've got to move forwards from this it in some ways it's a, like a bizarre comfort zone for you to be like on the defensive and what they're saying is, is you've got to move forwards from this eight of wands. Follow inspiration. They are guiding you. They are helping you to move away from this. You need some time to recover with just breathe. Have some time to yourself. Take some naps. Take some lay downs. Lay down. <laughs> take some lay downs. Take some time out and lay down. Have some rest. Do some meditation. Do some yoga. Take some time out. Be in nature. Just breathe. Take your time. Don't stress yourself out. You can't see the proper way forward yet. That's because of the three of wands. You've got some ideas. You may have even made some plans. Get excited and start taking the actions that you're guided to take as and when you get them. You may only have the initial stages at the moment. The three of wands says that your ship will come in. You will see the opportunity before long, but it may take a few more days or some of you more weeks for it to manifest okay but there will be an opportunity for you to move on from this defensive position but you have to act on your inspiration if you want to stay stuck in the past you can it's it's up to you you have free will but all i'm saying is they're advising you to take a break and relax because then you will feel rejuvenated once you feel rejuvenated you'll feel the inspiration and then the way will be shown to you hope this makes sense loads of love i'll see you on the next reading or in a private reading in the meantime see you soon guys hi group three how are you doing so this is spirit guide messages for this week we've got or whenever you're watching it five of cups king of wands the world the Six of Wands, uh, Control, which is the Strength card, and Solar Plexus Chakra. Guys, if you've chosen Group 3, you are on the cusp of going to the next level of success, of moving forwards. The world is right in the middle here. This is the best card in the deck. This is achievement. This is getting there. This is uh, The Six of Wands is success. It's about having overcome the difficulty and achieved it. It's going to the next level. It's getting the thing you want. It's moving forward. They're saying in order to do that, you just have to leave the past behind. Five of Cups. Some of you are still dwelling on the past, dwelling on the maybe feeling frustrated, angry, irritated over the past. Don't. Just let it go. The King of Wands here is about um, masculine energy. I, I don't think this is anybody else. I think this is you. Whether you're male or female, identify as male or female or, or other, whether you, it doesn't matter. We all have masculine and feminine within us. The King of Wands is the masculine energy. This is about directing your life. This is about being the person that has the vision. This is being a visionary. You've got to be a visionary. Visionary means looking beyond the circumstances you're in. The Five of Cups is all about getting caught up in the situation you're in. And more importantly, looking in the rearview mirror at what happened and kind of getting very stuck in the practical problems of your own life. It's time to stop lamenting and, and grieving the past. It's time to get become a visionary. Look forwards. Think about what you really want. Have the vision to listen to your inspiration, listen to your intuition and notice where you're being guided. You're being guided to the next level. 
you've already done a lot of the work. So whatever it is you're trying to achieve, they're saying you're kind of more than halfway there. You've already, you know, painted the painting, written the book, met the right person, um, in the, you're in the right career field, whatever it is for you, you're already a lot of the way there. There's still work to be done, but pat yourself on the back because you've done really well. You've overcome some difficulty recently to get yourself in the right position. Now it's about being brave. It's about being strong. It's about being steady and clear-minded. With the control card, this is strength. This is about having the a fierce, fearless, not fearsome, <laughs> fearless attitude. But it's not about being impulsive or reckless. It's about using inner wisdom. What have you learned in recent times? Yes, you've got to be brave and put yourself out there, but you're not going to be risky or reckless. Use your inner awareness to make the right choices. But it is all about shining your light, solar plexus chakra. The saying, don't let anyone or anything shadow your brilliance and your brightness. Just shine your light, follow your inner light, and you cannot go far wrong. You are actually a lot closer than you realize to getting where you want to be, but you've just got to be visionary. Think big. That's the key. Think big. If you think small, if you think too practically, you're going to get caught up in the muck and the mire of the everyday and you're going to get stuck and pulled back into the past and worrying about what can happen and worrying about what happened in the past. Be visionary, be strong, look beyond and you will be shown a way to move forwards. Guys, I hope this makes sense. Loads of love. Um, have a brilliant, brilliant week and I will see you on the next reading or on a private reading in the meantime, have a great week. Take care. Bye.